The United States Geological Service USGS, reported that 1,006 volcanic earthquakes occurred in Yellowstone National Park, Wyoming, USA throughout July 2023. All of these earthquakes were recorded by a seismic network specifically for monitoring the volcanic activity of this giant volcano, supervolcano. This report then sparked a series of panic among U.S. and Canadian citizens who feared that the giant volcano would erupt violently in the near future as happened millions to hundreds of thousands of years ago. However, geologists have assured many times that this is normal activity in Yellowstone. The USGS notes this report is only a preliminary analysis and the number of volcanic earthquakes will likely increase. Geologists expect dozens of small earthquakes to be included in the report, following a period of particularly intense seismic activity recorded on July 17, 2023 in the last 28 days. The Yellowstone region in Wyoming, United States, has been hit by 73 earthquakes. All the tremors were relatively small with the largest tremor recorded at 2.6 on the Richter scale, SR. However, since early May, Lindu have appeared more frequently, with 10 earthquakes occurring since last Monday, according to monitoring from the U.S. Geological Survey, USGS. Despite the strength of the earthquake is weakening, but experts warn people should not just focus on the strength of the earthquakes around the volcano, but rather on their quantity. Portland State University geology professor Emeritus Scott Burns said that a series of small tremors around Yellowstone National Park's volcanoes usually indicates that the magma and gas beneath the surface of the park is starting to navigate its way out. If you look at the swarm of volcanoes in, down there is still active, so the hypothesis is that the magma at that point is also moving, he said. However, Jamie Farrell of the University of Utah in Salt Lake City believes that these earthquakes are simply part of a natural cycle for volcanoes in Yellowstone National Park. Earthquake sequences are quite common in Yellowstone. There is no indication that these earthquakes are related to magma which moves through the shallow crust, he explained. The increase in earthquake intensity was also accompanied by a sudden eruption at the ledge geyser. Ledge Geyser, which is the second largest geyser in the Norris Geyser Basin, did not show any activity for three years before it erupted. Geysers like those at Yellowstone erupt whenever water and steam are trapped deep beneath the geyser's plume. The mixture of water and steam builds up pressure until it finds its way to the surface where high streams of boiling hot water shoot up hundreds of feet in the air. Experts are now continuing to analyze the geysers to find out whether these geysers indicate any kind of eruption at Yellowstone. If the Wyoming volcano in Yellowstone National Park erupted, an estimated 87,000 people nearby could be killed and two-thirds of the U.S. would be uninhabitable. A large burst of ash into the atmosphere would block sunlight and directly affect life in the area below. The massive eruption is also predicted to be 6,000 times stronger than the eruption of Mount St. Helens in Washington which erupted in 1980 and killed 57 people, depositing ash in 11 different states and 5 Canadian provinces. If Wyoming erupts, Climate change will be created because this volcano will spew large amounts of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere, 
which can form sulfur aerosols that reflect and absorb sunlight. 